Get your hand off my penis! The Gillette Cavalcade of Sports is on the air. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for our main event. 15 rounds among heavyweights. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. He's a guy who you can see is supremely confident in his abilities. He's making his way to the ring right now, and he's doing so with a very business-like approach to things. Introducing first, hailing out of Brooktown, the Blockbuster. And his opponent across the ring. Fighting out of the Bronx, Bad Intentions! All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up and let's go. Fifteen rounds scheduled here in this much-anticipated fight. And we are underway with round number one. And he just turns that hook up top and it does damage. Nicely timed one, two. What's the worst kind of situation you can get yourself into when you're fighting a guy who you know has superior hand speed? You start thinking too much, Joe. You start second guessing yourself. Start being a little hesitant. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Keep your distance. Good-looking two-punch combination there. Fires off the hook. Look at that. Tried the hook. Didn't get it. That right hand serving him well. And now he's targeting upstairs. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Good left hand able to land. Able to land the hook to the head. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Went right on target with that double jab. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. 
Jones. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. There's that right hand he scores with. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Round comes to an end. And that's one. Teddy, that just takes on a certain style, a certain characteristic, and that was a busy one. Yeah, it was a busy one. Look, Joe, you don't have to look for these guys. They're right there in front of you. Why do you think that is? Why do you think sometimes you just get those rounds where it all happens? Because of styles. You know, styles make fights. In this case, you're yeah. seeing proof of that right there. Both guys that are aggressive, both guys that are very confident. What's going on? We need to win more rounds. We got to do something. And I'm going to get out of it. You're throwing our game plan out the window. Here we go. Round two is underway. Oh, that's a big hook right there. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Accurate hook. He's got to try to do better than that. He missed head with that hook. Flush right hand to the head. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Puts forth the hook. Scores with it. Wow, look at that. Trading shots. Scores up top with a left. Nice work, great technique. The combo lands. Move your head. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. One of the fastest punches in the game. You see how he just turns over that hook. Nice, sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. Double up on your punches. Turns over that hook upstairs. All out action throughout this round. Let's see how they finish it up. There's the hook. Burn up. Plus shot. The left hand came in. Nice combination. Throwing more than one. Both scored there. Good, solid right hand he lands there. Hit the body. Solid hook. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Good, strong combo. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut? Look at that. Great work there. How about that left hand? Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated right his opponent. Let's Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a body. sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't. He's chomping at the bid. He's confident. Control this fight, man. You know. Don't get chaos out there, right? Just, just keep boxing smart. That was good. Nice work. Beautiful. And round number three is underway. And another right hand comes in. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Oh, what an exchange! Sizzling hand speed we saw moments ago. Heck of a combination, but it's pretty easy to get it off when you're that fast. Yeah, it is. And what it causes, too, is besides us saying, ooh, that we see those quick hands and the judges, you know, marking it down. Also, it makes the opponent keep his hands in his pocket. He's afraid to move his hands because the other guy's so much faster. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Oh, what a shot upstairs. He's going to have to grab on. Look at him put his punches together. And that's 
what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Comes across with a hook up top. Scores big with the hook to the head. And now they're trading blows. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. There's a right hand. Nice work to the midsection with the left. Scores with the combo to the head. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Solid hook upstairs. A flush hook scores well for him. Had his target in mind, but just missed. Both men digging in with uppercuts. And that's the end of round three. Fucking beautiful. That was, that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. Nice work. You can't handle this man. Was the desire to rule in the pursuit of pure power on the path of the fool? We chase clowns till we land face down. He's not gonna He's winning the fight. He's winning. The rain clouds. You gotta take it to the video. No shroud, stand proud. Why should I control? Beyond the norm, I exceed the height. Beyond all the way. In the stereotype. So this in your stereo. This is my life. When the day so good. The quick takeaway from the first three rounds is that. One guy's got the higher punch output, the other one's lagging behind. As we start round nice. number four, Teddy's nice. scorecard, three rounds to none. Yeah, the one guy with the high punch rate, the reason he's winning and the reason why he's effective is he's in the geography of the ring he needs to be. In tight. And now you can see him zoning in on the target with that double jab. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Oh, he is absolutely, there it is! Wow, crushing blow upstairs. to stay up he's gonna have to grab on kill a little time lands a big hook good look at right hand after he got hit good combination landing there this is just beautiful to watch watch how he just links one to the next teddy a beautiful he is not in good shape he, oh can he get up from this he's done it before but can he get up from a second time down? the count of 10 that's it knockout never saw the punch coming let's get the official particulars and set it up to our ring announcer ladies and gentlemen by way of knockout your winner the blockbuster